Right here we are with Randy Couture out at the Fight Summit. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, did a seminar. I, I have to say you've uh, you've uh, become quite the public speaker. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, it's certainly nothing formal. I, I didn't prepare anything. I just I, I had an idea what it was about. So. I, I seem to be better when I wing it. <laughs> well, you have a lot of stories, and uh, I think that's what people love hearing, and uh, you know, just uh, you know, the things that you've experienced in life. Uh, it, was a, it was an interesting group of people, and I think uh, you know, I don't think we really had a business summit about mixed martial arts or or this sport as, as and the business potential that's here. So, I think that made it unique and a little bit different than most of the seminars I do. So you were saying you've uh, you've been out and traveling. Uh, can you can you yeah. say anything about what's been the uh, what yeah, you've been doing? Yeah, I just pro- finished uh, a small part in a Bruce Willis uh, and, and Curtis Jackson movie, Fifty Cent. Uh, it's a gangster movie called Setup, and uh, I don't know how long it'll take him to turn it around. Probably at least nine months, I reckon. But uh, I got to play uh, a that kind of one bad guy in the movie, uh, Petey, who's kind of this cocky know-it-all kind of gangster and thinks he's very smart. He's you know he's number two. He wants to be number one at some point, and uh, he ends up. Yeah, it's pretty funny. He'll so is like it fun playing? He goes out for sure. Is it fun playing somebody that's uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum? Uh, and that's always the fun thing about acting is, is you get to play these characters and do these things that you would never get to do in real life. So <laughs> you know, like the Expendables, running around shooting people and, and beating people up and, and all that in and, and tunnels and blowing crap up i mean I mean, it's a blast it's fun <laughs> so and and you've signed on again obviously for the sequel to expendables uh we haven't gotten the contract yet we're definitely throwing our name in the hat and, and want to, i think all the guys hopefully will come back and, and we'll have that same chemistry we had for the second movie and uh, i haven't seen the script yet i know they're finishing up the script now they're looking at may hopefully to start shooting oh, wow. for that so uh, in, the, in the interim, I've got a couple other projects that, that I'm reading scripts and, and kind of looking at, and one of those may start in February, uh, hopefully. Yeah, but it's still, uh, uh, I learned in this weird business to keep my mouth shut until it's signed on the dotted line. Because <laughs> a lot of things look like they're going to happen, and they don't happen, and then you end up looking like a knucklehead. So. Well, a lot of things have been going on. Now, Now, kind of the big uh, thing of this last week is you sent out a, you tweeted out, like you might be done, and you know everybody's making such a big deal about that. I think because they saw it in black and white or something. It's nothing different than I've been saying for three months in every interview I've done. So you know, yeah, if the right fight came along, and again, by the right fight, I mean probably the one of one of two guys that I've really been interested in fighting for quite a while now have been either Shogun or Machida, because I think style-wise I match up well with those guys. They're intriguing, interesting fighters. Uh, you know, they have terribly strong wrestling backgrounds, which tends to make a fight a much bigger war for me than than, than the guys that don't have the wrestling background. So, uh, you know, those two guys, if they offered me those fights tomorrow, I would take either one of those fights, uh, and are probably not going to happen. I'm simply here competing because it's fun. I enjoy it. I'm getting better, and, and I'm, I'm as healthy as I've ever been, so it's not really an issue. But there's just all these other opportunities, a chance to play more characters and do more movies, a chance to focus on the clothing line and the supplement line and the training centers and, and you know, see my son continue to flourish down the path he's on, see the guys like Gray getting his title shot finally, uh, you know, see Tyson Griffin now get back on track, and he's seeing, you know, Forrest Griffin, you know, all the guys I've been bleeding and sweating with, Jay Huron making his way into Bellator and fighting there and hopefully getting a title there soon you know those are all things i'm interested in being a part of and uh and and kind of taking the place of of actually getting in the cage myself so you're still still in the gym still well i've been traveling Uh, quite a bit the last three or four months uh since since the fight with james in in august uh that's nothing new but uh, i'm still getting my training in here and there and uh you know i've really only been on the mat once i've been doing a lot of strength conditioning stuff but i haven't really been doing a lot of sparring or a lot of training just hadn't had time is the hunger still there uh you know i'm still having fun I, I, you know I, I think that's what it boils down to is there's a burning desire in me to go out and win another title no i don't think it's there to, to prove you know, it's yeah, I got nothing, nothing to prove, prove. I'm, at this I'm point. having a blast i'm having fun so that's why it's more about an inter- interesting or intriguing matchup like a machida or a shogun than going out and proving that you know i'm a better wrestler and a better fighter than John Jones or, or Rampage Jackson or Rashad Evans. I mean, those are friggin' wars, and, and I've had my wars. So, uh, you know, 
I don't know that it's less desire. I think it's just different. Uh, I'm in a different place in my life, and um, you know, I don't know. It's kind of hard to to articulate exactly what that means and, and how that is. It doesn't mean that I don't think I could beat those guys, or, the, or you know, but it's just not what it's about for me right now. Um, word on the street is that uh, uh, Matita's camp is interested. Uh, in in the fight between the two of you, if that was something approached to you, how how soon do you, could you see yourself uh, doing doing that fight? Well, I think if you know again, if they if they told me, hey, let's make the Machida fight happen, then I, you know I, I need at least eight weeks to, to peak and get back up into great fight shape and ready to go. I'd like to have ten. You know, again, I've been traveling a bunch and not getting a lot of training in the last two or three months. So, uh, but. I, I certainly could be in, in peak shape. I'm, I'm not that far out of shape now. I, I felt like I, you know, gained yeah. two points. I, I'm here <laughs> you you look on, like so. you're in great shape. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been busy blowing people up and uh, yeah, I'm running around <laughs> shooting and, you know, people. Yeah, 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 shooting myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Randy, uh, we know you. You know you're busy, and we really appreciate you taking the time with MMA Weekly. And uh, we uh, look forward to whatever the future endeavors are. Uh, it's always uh, good to see you. Yeah, it's always going to be fun. It's always going to be interesting. Thanks.